So this is uh, one of our trumpeter swans that came in from Wisconsin. It was shot. And it has ten, about 10 BBs in it. It broke its ulna, so it has a fractured wing on this side. But one of the things we have to do with all our swans, because they get very scared and they're very defensive and they end up banging their wrists against the floors and the walls, is we have to place what we call bumpers on here. We've taken the bumpers off already, but essentially it is just some gauze taped onto the wrist so that it can protect us from getting abraded, calluses, etc. Since when we put these on, we're immobilizing the wrist, we have to keep that joint um, flexible. So we take the wrap off about every three to four days with the patient anesthetized. So this one is completely anesthetized. And we have to do some physical therapy on those joints to make sure that we keep that joint nice and flexible. So we do this for about five minutes, twice a week, to make sure that wrist keeps its extension and doesn't get contracted. On the side that has the fracture, the way we're treating this fracture is wrapping the wing to the body, and we have the same sort of problem. In wrapping the wing to the body, we're immobilizing not only the wrist up here, but the elbow as well. And if we keep those um, joints immobilized the whole time, they'll become very contracted and the swan won't be able to extend its wings. So what we do a couple of times a week is take that wrap off. I make sure to hold the fractured bone so I'm not disturbing it. And then we just stretch those joints as well. And you can see that I can't really get the same extension in this wing as I can in the other wing, and that's because of all the inflammation going along with that fracture. So just very gentle in our palpation, in our physical therapy. We don't want to do this on an awake swan as it's going to be very painful. While we have them out, we're going to take x-rays and see how that fracture's healing.